everyone my name is Anna it is January it is winter but I'm finally on my day off from work so I thought I'd drive around the city and see what cactus and succulents is available during this time of the year so first stop is star nursery so let's start this tour I think I'll take this one because I bought one like this that was grafted. I tried to degraft it and plant it in soil but I don't think it's gonna make it. So this one is already in root so easy for me to start a new one. So I'll take this small one. I like how this one is twisting. That's nice. So this is what they do during winter here. They cover up the entire wall with uh, plastic just to prevent the plants from freezing here during this winter. Even the top, it is covered with plastic. Not so much for the rain but more for the cold. It's to protect the plants here from the cold temperatures especially during nighttime. This is the place where I buy my terracotta pots but I usually wait when they have their pottery sale where everything is 50% off. But look, it comes in different colors here. So there's the usual um, brown, light brown color there. They have a darker brown, like almost gray color. They also have it in white over here and they have bigger ones over there and there's more here on my right if you want the blues the red so this is where they have 
those clay pots and clay bowls they're a little bit pricey but when they do have their pottery sale 50 percent off which they usually have um, several times of the year it is really worth it Next stop is Home Depot, which is a home improvement store, but they also have their garden center. Depot in my area doesn't seem to have too many cacti during this time of the year so all they have are these um, very hardy outer cacti which are mostly opuntia, trichosaurus and some golden barrels but they do have a nice selection of agave out today My final stop for today is Lowe's which is another home improvement store and over here is their garden center.
I finally found this aloe. I've been looking for this since last year. This is aloe purple haze. Look how pretty this aloe is. It's got a purplish, pinkish hue to it. I mean, it's not perfect. Some of the leaves have broken ends, but that's okay because look, it's got babies all around it. It is a little bit pricey because it comes in this white pot but it is actually planted in oops <laughs> in a plastic pot but that's okay so this is going home with me Mangaves this time. I've always been curious about this plant. I want to try it out and see if it will do good here in um, my climate. Some say I've got mixed um, reactions to this plant. Some say they do well, some say they don't. But I do want to try it out. Um, it depends on what type of mangave I get. Let me see, which one is this? This is mangave. Barney, okay, mangave barney, but um, mangave is a cross between an agave and a um, manfreda. I think I do want to try this one. I don't always see this here in Vegas, so let me see which one do I get the one with a lot of um, offsets or one big one? Let's see. this will be my last stop it is way past lunchtime and i am getting hungry so basically those are the three stores that i go to for plant shopping lowe's home depot and also star nursery there is one more um cactus joe but that is a little bit of a drive from my place and in case you're wondering what i bought today not much i only have these three items here so this is the manfreda look how beautiful that is i love the color and then this is the aloe purple haze i found another pot so the first one i showed you earlier i changed it and i found a better one and then this one is from star nursery i believe this is a uh, called the arizona snow cap so it is a mammillaria fragilis but um, the hybrid snow cap all right if you like this video guys don't forget to give me a thumbs up subscribe if you like cactus and other desert plants and i will talk to you again next time bye everyone and cheers